Mahogany Homes is really not hard to learn, but in case you're new or just need some tips, I have a guide for you. This is Iron Man friendly and it doesn't matter whether you're a beginner or looking for the meta. Mahogany Homes is an alternative or actually the superior way to train construction in my opinion. Not only is it less expensive for mains and costs less supplies for Iron Men, it's not as boring and click intensive as building stuff in your house. There really aren't any requirements for mahogany homes aside from just having bought a player-owned house. I would recommend some magic levels to be able to teleport around unless you can buy teletabs. For gear, you can wear graceful but you shouldn't lose a lot of run energy. I just tend to wear it whenever I'm skilling anyway. Eventually, you'll be wearing the carpenter's outfit which gives you bonus construction XP. If you're using any kind of spell, you'll want a staff to save runes. I like using the dust staff. For teleport spells, you use a lot of air runes but pretty much equal of the other elemental runes. If you're using NPC contact, you'll use an air staff. You could also use an Imkando hammer to save an inventory slot or Amy's saw once you get it. In your inventory, you need a rune pouch or just have runes in your inventory. The runes you use will depend if you're using the standard spellbook or using NPC contact, which I'll talk more about later. You need a hammer and saw to build furniture. Then any extra teleports you need. If you're on the lunar spellbook, you'll want to either have each teleport needed in your house and have house teleports in your inventory, or keep teletabs for each location on you. You'll need four teleport options, Varrock, Ardon, Falador, and Hosidius. The regular teleport spells work for the first three, but for Hosidius, you can either have your house in Hosidius if you have 25 construction. That way you can teleport outside your house and run to where you need to go. Or use Xerix's Talisman to teleport to Xerix's Glade. Some other teleport options are Ring of Wealth to Falador Park and Skills Necklace to the Mining Guild. The rest of your inventory will be filled with planks and two steel bars. If you're an Iron Man, you'll probably be using the standard spellbook and teleporting around manually. Using the spell in PC contact is more XP per hour, but for Iron Man, it's not really worth it to make all those teletabs just for this. If you're a main and don't mind spending the extra money, it's probably worth it for you to buy tabs and use NPC contact to get contracts from Amy. To start Mahogany Homes, first you have to talk to Amy Amy and Falador to get your very first contract. Afterwards, you can get a task from multiple other NPCs. At level 1, you can only do beginner contracts, which use regular planks. At level 20, you can start doing novice contracts, which use oak planks. At level 50, you can do adept contracts, which use teak planks. This is a good balance of affordable but not insanely slow XP and really doable for Iron Men, so this is usually what people do to 99 especially Iron Man. I have a guide on making planks on an Iron Man and show my favorite method for making teak planks by the way. Then at level 70 you can do expert contracts which use mahogany planks. If you use Runelite, I highly recommend using the Mahogany Homes plugin to make things easier. This shows you what you need to fix and can show you where you need to go. And the plank sack plugin, once you get a plank sack, will show you how many planks are in your sack so you don't end up trying to build something and realize it's empty and you have to bank. There are 12 different possible locations you can be assigned. Jess is located upstairs in the pet shop in Ardone. You'll have to fix furniture in this entire upstairs house. There's nothing downstairs to fix. Noella is north of the Artie Market in this long house. Nothing downstairs is fixable, but there is a set of stairs and a ladder that go to separate wings of the house. You'll have to fix things in both of them and then talk to Noella downstairs when you're done. Ross is north of the Artie Church. You'll have to fix things both upstairs and downstairs, and then talk to Ross downstairs when you're done.
In Felidor, each house is in the same general area. Larry is to the north with both an upstairs and downstairs area. Larry stays downstairs. Norman is to the south. There are things to fix on both floors, but Norman stays upstairs, so you'll have to talk to him there before you go back down. Tau is to the southeast in this house with the water symbol. There's only one floor in this house. In Hosidius, they're a bit more spread out. Barbara is just north of the house portal, but if you use the Xerix talisman, this house isn't too far from that teleport either. There's only one floor here and Barbara tends to roam around in this small room. Lila is east of the Hosidius Market, in this house with only a water symbol. There are two floors here and Lila stays downstairs. This is also a common spot for people to trap master farmers, so be careful not to let the master farmer out of the house when you see them. If there's someone pickpocketing there, I would just hop world so I don't mess them up. Mariah is north of the Hosidius Market, in this big house with a water symbol. Once again, there are two floors to fix things, but Mariah is downstairs. Lastly, in Varrock, Bob is west of the Varrock church, north of the estate agent. There are two floors, but Bob is downstairs. Jeff is south of the estate agent and west of the museum. There are two floors and Jeff is downstairs. And Sarah is along the southern wall of Varrock. She's in the second house here with the stove symbol. Her house is small and there's only one floor. The furniture you have to build and fix will be random each time. If you don't use rune light, you can see what you need to fix by talking to the house owner. It's a lot to memorize, so you can just hover over things until something has a fix or tear down option. You don't have to talk to the homeowner at the start. It's only useful if you need to see what things need to be fixed. Different things require different amounts of planks, but things that require steel bars will only require one at a time. Not all houses have furniture that requires steel, but the houses that do only need one bar. And you don't always get that each time you're assigned that house. But you take two steel bars just so you don't have to bank quite as often, though this is more useful when you have a plank sack because you're guaranteed to bank less. When you're done fixing up the house, talk to the homeowner to claim your reward of extra construction XP and carpenter points. This completes your contract and you're set to get another task. The homeowner also offers you tea, which you can drink to fully replenish your run energy. To get your next contract, you don't have to go back to Amy and Falador. There are other NPCs who can give you contracts located in each estate agent place nearby. Here is Marlo and Varrock. Ellie and Ardone. And Angelo in Hosidius. For most locations, it's quick to just run to the nearest estate agent to get your next contract. And there's usually a bank pretty close by as well. But for Barbara north of the house portal in Nocidius and Sarah in southern Varrock, their houses are pretty far from the estate agent. So it's faster to just teleport to Falador to get your next contract because Amy is pretty close to the Falador teleport. A quick tip if you want to get through the dialogue faster, the number for your dialogue option for your contract is the same for building furniture. So for me doing adept contracts, I just press three to grab my contract, then space. Then when building furniture, I hold down three, which is always the teak option. And at the end, the dialogue with the homeowner is always just space, one to drink the tea and space again. Here are the XP rates to expect doing mahogany homes according to the wiki. If using NPC contact, you can get even higher rates than this. If you're wondering what
not ordered to buy the rewards in, it's mainly up to personal preference. I recommend the plank sack first because I think having to bank less is more valuable than the tiny XP increase from the outfit. The saw could save inventory space but then you couldn't use a staff and it just depends how valuable one inventory slot is to you. If you find yourself being one plank short of finishing a contract sometimes, then definitely get the saw. The order you buy pieces of the outfit doesn't matter, so buy them in whatever order you want. After you've finished the main rewards, you have the blueprints and supply crates. The blueprints unlock a POH theme, so if you like collection log stuff or just really want that theme for your house, then go for it. Otherwise, you could spend any extra points on supply crates. Supply crates really don't give you a lot back. You'll never profit GP or supplies buying supply crates, but they could help a little with reaching your goal. They give a variety of planks, steel bars, soft clay, limestone bricks, and bolts of cloth. Lastly, I wanted to mention this Mahogany Homes calculator website. You can input your username to quickly get your stats, or manually input your level or current XP. Select gear and stuff you're using, your level of efficiency, and either a target level you want to reach or put in the amount of supplies you have to see what level it gets you. If you choose target, it'll show you what you need for that level. It shows your estimated contracts to level and XP per hour and all that stuff. And it can show you the estimated loot from doing all of these contracts. It's not completely accurate because how many supplies you use and how much you get from crates is a little bit RNG based. But you can get a general idea of how many supplies you need for your level and be able to use supply crates to finish your goal. Even if you don't care about the other features, it's just a good website to use if you want to know how many planks to make or buy for the level you want to reach. That's it for this video. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!